So, I'm here in the outskirts of Cairo. You can see the pyramids in the back, really in the middle of nowhere. And I'm looking for the pyramid of Jedefre. The Pyramid of Jedefre, or the Great Pit of Abu Rawash, is a mysterious structure located on a hill at the outskirts of Cairo. Pretty remote place, no signs or whatsoever, but I heard that it's one uh, very mysterious place. The mysterious uh, staircase that we checked out yesterday is also nearby. Uh, yeah, crazy place here. There's really nothing around. There is a cell phone tower. Let's see what we find. It's already my second attempt to try it. Yesterday I parked the car from another side of this uh, mountain plateau but I wasn't able to reach it. It's a very remote place in the outskirts of Giza. Uh, pretty high up, you can uh, look over Giza and Cairo and you can see the pyramids. But I don't see this pyramid yet, uh, the one that I'm looking for. So yeah, we'll see. I'm already walking like half an hour here. I left my car uh, on the side lane of the highway. I hope that's okay. But I guess in Egypt nobody minds about these things. Wow, that's a nice view on the pyramids here. Yeah. There. It seems like we are getting closer to the pyramid. How do I know that we are close? Well, there are granite stones everywhere scattered here. Interesting. According to Egyptologists, it is an unfinished pyramid made by King Jedefre, the son of Khufu. Others believe that it might not be a pyramid, but something else that has been built by a previous generation. This is the pyramid. The early British Egyptologist Flinders Petrie noted about the pyramid of Abu Rawash, quote, the great heaps of granite all around the pyramid show that it has been cased with granite and as it is always believed that no casing was put on a pyramid until the core was entirely finished. This is evidence of the completion of the pyramid. Oh my god, what's this? Wow. Very deep. That, I, that looks to me like a boat pit. Okay, a boat pit. I heard that this place was once, it was very restricted until recently because there was a, there is a, or there was a military base nearby. When Chris visited the site at Abu Rawash, he didn't know that it is still a restricted area and a special permit is required to be able to visit it. Wow. I'm glad I came here. Here you can see very well how they how they put the granite blocks against the limestones. And they really I'm not sure how they did that. Well, nobody knows. But as you can see, the granite block follows the shape of the limestone. This is so complicated what they have done here. And when you imagine that all this was covered with granite, unbelievable. It's also an interesting stone here. Super smooth surface. Oh my God, this is so smooth. This is very, very smooth. Unbelievable. Egypt never fails to surprise. Could even climb that thing later. Let's see. Yeah, they build it from these huge limestone blocks. They have been all piled up here, God knows how. And then, and then they put these huge granite blocks, and they fit exactly the shape of the limestone. This is really blows my mind. Blows absolutely my mind. 
Look at this curve. This is really unbelievable. And we are talking about red granite from Aswan. How did they bring it up here? We are here in a, in a mountainous region. I mean, yeah, bringing stones on a ship along the Nile. Yeah, okay. But how do you get them up here on this mountain? Let's see what else we can find. Another huge granite block. And these limestone blocks are also very impressive. Very impressive. First I thought this is a quarry, but it is, it is the actual pyramid. There is also no garbage here, meaning nobody comes here at all. Okay, that looks interesting. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. And I have it all for myself. That's so cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Wow. So we are standing now basically in the middle of this pyramid. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. So this looks to me, yeah, they cut this place here straight out of the bedrock. And then they have added the limestone blocks. My God, this is unbelievable. What is this place? And how did it even end up like this? How did it end up like this? Open. Okay, pyramid, I'm coming. Please be nice to me. What a place, really. What a place. Wow. That is so amazing. Wow, we are here at the inner core of the pyramid. That is so unbelievable. It doesn't surprise me that this uh, is not really presented as a tourist attraction. This would raise many, many questions, this pyramid here. And clearly this has been all cut into the bedrock, all of it. And then from the outside, also from the inside, they worked with limestone blocks here also. There are other similar looking structures out there in the desert around Giza that seem to have the same kind of T-shaped pit in the center. They have been cased with granite stones and all of them are facing to the north such as the Pyramid Neferefre at Abuzir or the unfinished Pyramid of Zaviat el Arian. And probably down there it goes deeper and deeper. All this is uh, collapsed rock. Wow, there it so it goes down. Unfortunately, the pit of Zaviat el Aryan has been covered up by the Egyptian military decades ago and you can see its location here inside a military base. The pit has been completely filled up with sand and a wall has been installed around it. What makes it even more mysterious is this strange underground base in the desert which can be accessed from Zaviat el Aryan. We found even more underground entrances in the surrounding desert on Google Earth. 
What might be the reason that the Egyptian military decided to build this structure so close to the pyramids of Giza and all the other ancient monuments? There are some old photos of Zaviat El Aryan that show the mysterious structure with the oval granite coffer that looks very different from everything else that we have seen in Egypt. The early Italian explorer Bersanti reported that the pit of Zaviat El Aryan has been filled up with huge granite and limestone blocks in order to cover up the strange oval coffer that lies on the ground of the pit. Back at Abu Rawash, Flinders Petrie reported that he also found some curved pieces of a granite coffer and a diorite statue around the unfinished pyramid of Jedefre. Being alone in this kind of places is always, always a very, very profoundly stunning experience. Wow. There's a room, or maybe the entrance to the tunnel system. A shaft goes probably more down, but it's filled with rubble. Wow, this is so amazing, this place. Well, clearly it goes more down there. My God. This is probably one of the most impressive places I visited so far in Egypt. Carefully that I don't fall here. Yeah, and here they... What have they done here? We don't know. Hornet, that's not good. I hope he's not gonna call his friends. <clears throat> wow. <sighs> Crazy. It was really hard to find. Oh my god, look at these huge limestone blocks. If all those structures are really just unfinished pyramids, then we have to ask ourselves why they have been left unfinished with these same features and characteristics, or is it possible that we might be looking at something entirely different here? This place is really an absolute attraction. I'm really not surprised that they, that they don't uh, openly advertise this as a tourist site. It would just raise too many questions. Look at this, all these granite stones. Those are all the casing stones of this pyramid here. How did they get them here? No idea, no idea. As you can see, we are really high up here, really high up. And down there, there is all um, rocks. It goes down, like there is no way you can bring these stones here easily up. <laughs> Unless you have huge trucks and cranes and modern day technology, which even then is a challenge. This was probably the moment when somebody at the radio tower saw Chris roaming around the ancient site. And these are small stones, as you can see. These stones here, whoever put them here, they broke them into smaller pieces because they cannot move such big stones. And this is probably the biggest size we can move today. 
I'm not really sure if this pyramid hasn't been built completely, if they didn't finish it, or what exactly happened to this pyramid. And there I see even a very interesting granite. Let's check that out. So after I found this pyramid, one guy came to me with a car. He probably works by this radio tower. And he told me uh, that it's a problem that I be that I am here. He said uh, police will make problem to me. So they don't like us uh, to look at this pyramid. Probably too controversial. Or maybe there's more down there. They don't want uh, investigations to happen, whatever. I got what I wanted. I'm heading back to my car. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.